All right, we're going to move on to our next subject. And this is going into some Disney news right now. And I saw this about Bob Iger. So as you know, Bob Iger came back as the chief chairman of Disney and took back over for Bob Chapek. So when he took back over, you know, he's been kind of going through things, trying to change things, fix things, because he thinks that, I mean, everyone knows Chapek kind of screwed up. So Bob's back. And one thing that he's saying right now is he thinks that we need to get back into more in-person working. He thinks that it should be four days in at least a week. And here's what Bob has to say about the matter. CEO Bob Iger said employees currently working a hybrid schedule will be asked to spend four days a week on site as of March 1st, targeting Monday through Thursday as in-person work days, saying it's his belief that working together more in person will benefit the company's creativity, culture, and our employees' careers. Yeah, and Iger, he actually continued on and, and said this as well about the whole matter. I've been meeting with teams throughout the company over the past few months. I've been reminded of the tremendous value in being together with the people you work with. As you've heard me say many times, creativity is the heart and soul of who we are and what we do here at Disney. And in a creative business like ours, nothing can replace the ability to connect, observe, and create with peers that comes from being physically together, nor the opportunity to grow professionally by learning from leaders and mentors. Yeah. So, I mean, I get what he's saying. I do. And if you think about it, I mean, think about it. Uh, being in person is, it's a lot easier to get stuff done. It is. Look at the virtual thing right now. If we could be together in a room, it's always a different kind of interaction compared to what it is with these Zoom things and with the way the world is working now where it's online, online, online. I get it. I, I still like I'm doing auditions or where I'm reading with somebody over a Zoom. Like you get callbacks now and you're doing the callback and another person's on a Zoom like this and you're trying to read the scene. I think there's a disconnect. So I get that. Um, so what he's trying to do is push towards that. Again, it's a new chapter. We're kind of moving forward from COVID more and more. But hear about this, Sabrina. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think people should be more in person or should they be allowed to still work the way they've been working since the pandemic? I mean, personally, I would like people to stay home because there's so much traffic in L.A. Please. It's killing me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much uh, more strongly I could suggest that everyone let everyone work from home because it takes me an hour to get to work every day and it's the worst. Um, that being said, if I worked for Disney and he, they said hybrid schedule. So that means yeah. these people are coming into the office sometimes. Um, you know, maybe it's only two days a week or something. I mean, I'm not really sure. Um, I do understand what he's he, saying. Yeah, um, he wants four now. Right. And, but I, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, COVID's not over. I hate to break it to everybody. There's all these new variants and should they keep teasing like possible new mask mandates and shit like that. So if, if one person goes down, the whole office is going down. I'll tell you that much. Um, but that aside, I, I understand what he's saying. Like if you could all be in a room together, pitching stuff and do, you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a different vibe. And, you know, he's trying to come out of the little bit of a hole that they kind of got in and make the company more successful again or, you know, basically make more money, which is insane because they own everything. Um, and I think he's just looking at ways to do that. And this is a way to, you know, try to spark that. Yeah, which, of course, you know, it's it, he's trying to fix things. He's trying to make more money for the company. And he thinks that being in person will help that, you know, boost that creativity. Maybe he'll actually have different meetings that'll happen. That'll be something that'll help people brainstorm better. I don't know. Maybe just mm -hmm. being in a room with someone can get them like face to face and get that connection. And be like, we need to work on this. You know, maybe he's having issues that people aren't working as hard because they're doing these at home things. That could be a factor, you know? So the fact that he's like calling for this, it must make sense in his book. I mean, I get it. Like, I, I still think it's better in person, but we still have to deal with this. We still have issues. We still have people that have, you know, can be sick really bad. They, they can spread this shit everywhere. I get it. But for him as a, as a business person, looking at the whole company, he's going, how do we fix where we're at right now? How do we get this yeah. back on track? How, we, how, we, how do I pick up the pieces from the guy before me? Because Disney was going down and having a lot of issues over Chapek. So for him, I, I mean, get if you think about it, if you're working from home, right, and you have a problem with something and you're if you were in the office, you could be like, hey, John, did you get that memo I sent you about this? Uh, what do you think about that? And they could come over. You can have a conversation. If you guys yeah. are home, you know, like you have to call somebody on the phone or email someone and wait for them to respond. And then like it's just 
it just probably takes longer to get things done, you know, not, not being together also, in addition to, you know, inspiring more creativity or whatever bullshit he spun. Um, I just, I feel like it's more practical to get things done in a timely fashion. If you are in an office and everyone's there, if you have a problem, you can go to this department or that department or whatever you're there. You know, if you're, if you're home, there's waiting, lag time response, waiting, someone didn't answer the phone, someone's in the shower, someone's in the bathroom, who knows? Um, so, you know, I, I, I definitely understand his point. If I was an employee and I was working from home, most of the time I'd be, I'd be probably be bummed that I had to go back to the office for more days, but Lionsgate is also doing back. the same thing. Yeah. They, they, they also is, are restructuring a four day work week as well. So. Which is still kind of nice to think about it. Now you get four days in, day at home. That's not bad. I'm like, look at the, like, look at the positivity sometimes for all this, you know? It's like <laughs> the ray of sunshine. So now you get to be home still for a day of the week and still work and not have to drive to wherever you're going again. If they're here in LA, traffic sucks. It's back to normal. Gas but prices suck. That doesn't help suck. traffic because Friday, everyone goes out of town. And it's the worst day for traffic. Yeah. So why don't they, you take Monday, Monday off, off? And then they I can Monday at least off. one day. <laughs> Which I would like a Monday off. Everybody hates Mondays. I mean, you're still working, but you don't have to get up and go to work. It might be a little bit better, easier for people. But I get the whole in-person thing. It's like you got to eventually be in person. There's a lot of stuff that's harder to do over the Zoom thing. There's a disconnect. There just is over the whole virtual thing. There's there's problems with the whole connectivity sometimes. Sometimes there's like lingering. People are wearing their underwear, you know, only that's, that's a problem too. But, you know, people getting themselves in trouble doing that. So as long they don't stand up, it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but some people like to stand up. And, uh, but anyways, so that's what Bob Iger's doing. Little changes in Disney. It's good changes, I think. I think it's going to hopefully help them. I, I I believe in Bob. I think that Bob's going to get it back on track. I hope he's already looking at a lot of things that were wrong and hopefully fixes it. I don't know, the parks, the theme park stuff. He's supposed to be fixing the prices. He's trying to help the consumers. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep you posted. Just some uh, little Disney update. 